Hi, R.D. Barry here. Welcome to puzzle number 50 in my uh, Let's Play of Hook. This is the final puzzle, the final boss, so let's, uh, let's get started on it. Um, well, it's a very kind of pleasant uh, arrangement here of the pins. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, admire it for a second. Um, the first thing I'm noticing here is that it looks like you can get these two kind of at the same time. All I need to do is flip this uh, this switch here so that it, that it uh, forms a T shape with these two and gets uh, and avoids that one there. I just need to um, check what's going on with this other branch uh, from the central um, source here. Let's start out with disconnect this part of it because this doesn't have anything that's free going in this direction. Or, no, no, I'm, on, I'm wrong on that. Let's try going there. No, that's not going to work. So, yeah, let's, um, let's go with that, what I said before. Just, just cut that off right there. So that will also get this pin here. Um... Let's see, these these two are connected so uh and they're both hooked, so it doesn't they I I need to disconnect that one. And um that one is hooked as well, so I looks like I'll have to stop the signal right there for the time being. So this this signal going up will just get this short pin here and this signal or the signal going to the right will just get these two pins here so let's try it all right that's those taken care of now this signal going to the right here is going to be it only controls one pin now so we might as well just just disconnect that uh, for the time being and just ignore it for the until this this um, this hook gets free somehow so that's going to be a while so I think we're just going to have to concentrate on going on this other branch here uh, for the uh, for the moment, so let's see. So going up here, this pin and this pin are connected, so it doesn't matter if this is free because this is not. So I'll just just try going across like that, see if it connects to anything. Um, let's see. This pin is not connected, so I'm gonna have to. Uh, or this pin here is hooked, so I'm going to have to disconnect that. But with the switch like in this position, I'll get this diagonal, this long diagonal pin over here. And other than that, um, yeah, I think I'm kind of stuck because I've got these, this pin, this direction, and this direction both lead to hooked pins so I'm gonna have to cut off the signal there and in this direction I don't think anything else anything has changed over here so I'm still gonna have to um, cut the uh, cut cut off the signal there so I think we're set at that point let's try it okay and that's freed up, let's see, this that's freed up this pin and that pin. So 
I can flip that switch over. And it's also freed up this diagonal on here. So let's uh, move that switch into that position. So that's so I'll connect this pin. This I'll connect that pin. And um, I can also get this tiny little pin over here by moving the switch in that direction, but again, actually I can't because this one is still hooked. So let's just move that back. So I'm going up here, over here, getting these two pins above, then over and down, and then continuing down I get that one, and this is a dead end. So let's try that. Okay, now it looks like I've got, wow, one, two, three, four pins I can get at this point. Um, this one is the only, it's only connected to this one uh, switch here, so I might as well just do that uh, since it's now unhooked. Um, let's see, let's continue around this direction I still can't do anything with, I th I'm pretty sure. So I'll continue this direction. Oh, this time I'll flip this switch to grab this, this hooked pin, um, as it goes by. And same thing here. So I'm getting those two. And I'm going to need to at least disconnect this this direction because it's uh, this tiny pin is um, hooked. But I will get that branch, that branch, and that branch, which are all free. So let's see. I'll get that, that one that one, that one, that one, and that one. So let's five, how many pins is that at once? I don't know, six I think. Let's try it. All right. Um, now, now this, these two are free, so, no, let's see. No, uh, 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 hang on, hang on. Going, getting ahead of myself here. Um, that direction's hooked. Yes, I can get one more pin up here. This direction I've got a hooked pin, so I can't do that, but I can get to this one. And then if I block it there, Um, let's see, I, I, I can get this, if I go up here, that's a block pin, so I'll have to block that direction, but I can get this pin here, and uh, if I cut off the switch in that direction, then that will just get me this one and this one. And let's see what else I can do here. I can get this tiny one down here, since the signal is also going to go around here like that. Um, let's see, that's hooked. So I'm going to have to cut off the signal this way. Um, And I'm still kind of uh, continuing on here. I'm going to have to cut off the signal going in that direction, too. So, let's see. I'm going up, 
over, grabbing that one, grabbing that one, and then it's a dead end. And in this direction, I'm circling around, grabbing that one below, and then it stops. So let's try it from there. Okay. Um, well, now this diagonal and this small one up here are both free. No, I keep on getting distracted by that because that's actually hooked because it's connected to this one and that's hooked. Um, but let's try connecting this one and, um, yeah, pretty sure I can't go any further than that. So I'll, it'll just have to go stay like that. Uh, going in this direction, let's try going across. This time, no, nope, that's not going to work. So I think we're just stuck on that one there. So uh, we're just going to go uh, up. This is a dead end. Across, then up and over. So I think we're only going to be able to get that one pin this time. All right. So now we can flip this switch over and get uh, those two. Um, in this direction, if we um, make sure that direction's, this direction to the left is disconnected, then we can get the, this this horizontal one and this this one over here too um, so that will do those and I'm pretty sure in this direction we're, we're still pretty much stuck with, with what we have there so let's try it um, oh I thought that would get those two pins but I forgot to connect them so there they are let's try that again okay um, well that's freed up a lot down here so I'll, I'll flip this switch to get these two in either direction here and now with the uh, the top here on, on the left side um, there's uh, nothing really more I can add to that. I could go around in a, in a circle, maybe, but uh, uh, that that's not really a big help. Um, so let's click the source again, get those two out of the way. And now I can get this one over here on the right. And this one is okay to go, but I need to disconnect this one on the far left here uh, because that's hooked. So I think we're all set on those. Um, finally, this one is still hooked, but I, I can get this this one fairly easily. And now it's a matter of just connecting to the last one. So I'll just cl click there. And that should wrap it up. Okay. Um, and you're welcome. <laughs> That's the end of the game. Um, I just want to share... Uh, some thoughts on the game in general. It's a very nice, uh, relaxing um, puzzle game, as as advertised. Uh, it's the 
beginning is is fairly trivial, but it gradually gets um, tougher and tougher. So yeah, I think I think um, people of many different ages could really get into this this game. Um, uh, maybe your four-year-old wouldn't be able to get to the last puzzle. If he does or she does, I would contact Mensa immediately. Um, my one problem I have with, with puzzle games is they're generally too short, and that's um, that's kind of the case with this one. I think they, they could have had more puzzles. Um... I think one idea for doing that, and I don't know how much um, of a logistical uh, problem with this would be, but somehow have uh, the ability to um, have people create their own games. Um, they they did that with Portal, uh, or with Portal Two, I think, and um, it's one way to like add uh, more more variety to the game without actually uh, with using uh, crowdsourcing instead of actual uh, developer time. Um, but I don't know. I, it, it, it's uh, hard to say. I don't, I'm not in the game development business, so I don't know uh, how tough it would be to uh, design an interface for that or whatever. But um, there's there's big modding communities out there, so if there was some way to like mod this, that would and uh, be able to um, add new puzzles. Seems like it would extend the life a little bit more. Um. Anyway, I really enjoyed what there was of it for the price you pay. It's definitely worth the money, and um. I just want to call out a uh, shout out again for the uh, the music. It's it's very relaxing and atmospheric and uh, perfect um, perfect accompaniment to the to the um, to the game itself. So anyway, I will uh, leave it there. Sign off, and uh, I will uh, try to do a similar games like this in the uh, future. Um, so until then, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sign off. Uh, bye.